Having a lot of money is the dream of many. Have you ever had that thought? To achieve this feat, you need to be focused as the path is arduous, and I want to warn you from the beginning that it won't be easy. That's why not everyone can achieve the goal of having a lot of money. I'm here today to show you how to conquer wealth. I'll also talk about mindset, which is the most important. Do you want to learn the path to prosperity? From adopting the mindset of a millionaire to the daily practices that will make all the difference in your journey towards financial success. Then, let's begin. Are you ready? If so, comment, I'm ready. Just comment, I'm ready, and wealth will come to you in abundance. If you believe, type in the comments, I believe. Now that you've commented, let's continue. If you follow the valuable tips in this video, I am certain that you will significantly reduce the time needed to learn about money, perhaps by 10, 20 or 30 years. That's amazing, isn't it? Many people spend hours on YouTube every day, searching for tips on how to make money online and get rich quickly. Have you ever done that? If so, I want to warn you, be careful, because there are many people out there with bad intentions who will try to sell you a course that doesn't work, promising quick wealth. You really think you'll learn something and get rich quickly, but in reality, it's just another trap. So always stay alert, because getting rich requires a lot of effort and dedication, and things don't happen overnight. If I could give one piece of advice to today's youth, I would say, be patient and disciplined, have more focus and less anxiety, because when you do what needs to be done, wealth naturally happens in your life. Never try to take shortcuts, because wealth that comes easily goes away just as quickly. A great example of this is lottery winners, who show every day that no matter the size of the prize, if the person isn't mentally prepared to deal with a lot of money, they'll soon be back to poverty. And that's not what you want, right? What I propose is that we have a life of prosperity with lasting wealth. So let's move on to the teachings that will radically change your financial situation. Pay close attention not to miss any important tips. Our country is full of very rich people and also poor people. There is a difference in the habits and thoughts of these two types of people. The reason why some people can get rich while others can't is directly linked to each one's mindset about money. It all starts with how we think about money, which is deeply rooted in our subconscious. Your entire outer universe is just a reflection of your inner world. If things aren't going well financially, it's because you've failed in mindset before, so I'm here today to help you with that. Even if someone is talented in their professional field, if their mindset about money isn't aligned with financial success, it becomes difficult to get rich. And even if they manage to accumulate wealth, they might lose it quickly. Even if a person builds such wealth, they would hardly be able to maintain it. You might be wondering, Am I destined to live in poverty for the rest of my life because of my thoughts? The answer is no. We can make adjustments to our thoughts and actions to achieve the financial success we desire. And that's exactly why I'm here today. I'll guide you on how to cultivate a prosperous mindset, teach you how to conquer wealth and no longer depend on a minimum wage. Let's start with the mindset because by changing the way you think, you can change your entire financial situation. If you've been enjoying the content so far, please click the like button. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and help me reach 100,000 subscribers. We're almost there. Can I count on your help? If you're already subscribed, comment, I'm subscribed to the channel. Well, I was talking about mindset, wasn't I? That's right. If the way you see money in your subconscious isn't set for success, everything you learn, know, or do won't succeed. Childhood influences shape our financial perspective and can result in harmful thoughts and behaviors. The solution is to replace negative thoughts with positive ones that lead us to financial success. Transforming our mindset is the first step in building a solid foundation of prosperity. Most wealthy people share a similar mindset. Do you think this is just a coincidence? Actually, it's not. It's a formula to follow. 
These people have a completely different way of thinking than those who don't have money. The way we think influences our actions and consequently our results. If you think and act like poor people do, unfortunately, you'll also end up in that situation. But if you adopt the mindset of wealthy people and act like them, fortunately, you can also achieve prosperity. So start adopting the mindset of the wealthy and then turn those thoughts into concrete actions to achieve financial success. So prepare your mind to receive a lot of money. People think money was only made to spend. No, no, no. Money was made for earning, investing, saving, keeping, and then spending. People completely ignore the other three levels and focus only on earning and spending. If you ignore the other three levels, you'll probably face financial problems all the time. Now, if you learn to work with investing, saving, and keeping, then yes, that way you'll start moving towards success. Another thing about money is that if someone earns a lot of money without being internally prepared for it, their wealth is likely not to last long. Many people simply don't have the internal capacity to earn and keep large amounts of money or to face the challenges that success brings. This is one of the reasons why they don't become rich. True wealth goes beyond the numbers in your bank account. It lies in the prosperity mindset cultivated over time. An example of this is lottery winners, as I mentioned earlier. Studies consistently show that no matter the size of the prize, most winners end up returning to their previous financial state. This happens because they can't properly handle large amounts of money, end up spending recklessly, and in a few years, find themselves back in the same financial situation as before. And many of them end up in even worse situations bogged down in debt. This is truly unfortunate, which is why I insist on the importance of working on our mindset first. Are you getting it? Now, people who are rich by merit and effort happen the other way around. If they lose their fortune, they often manage to recover it quickly. This happens because they may lose the money, but they don't lose the most crucial component of success, the prosperity mindset. It's the mindset that makes all the difference. Regardless of the results you achieve, whether in abundance or scarcity, positive or negative, always remember that the world around you is a reflection of your inner world. If things aren't going well in your external life, it's because something isn't going well in your internal life. Transforming the mindset regarding money is the path not only to changing the financial reality, but also to improving the overall quality of life. The way a person perceives money is shaped by the information or programming they received in the past, especially during childhood. The primary sources of this programming or conditioning include, for most of us, parents, siblings, authority figures, teachers, religious leaders, media and culture. These are the main influences, although the list can be extensive. Recognizing these sources and consciously reprogramming our mindset is the first step in building a money model geared towards success and lasting prosperity. The way you view money today was automatically created based on the information you absorbed. Now it's time to replace this automatic model with a new one. Let's create from scratch a new mindset, a new perspective on money. Let's get rid of this fragile scarcity mindset and replace it with a strong and rich mindset. Children aren't born with knowledge of how to deal with money. Over time, they learn this gradually. Since kindergarten, we're taught to act in certain ways regarding money, and these teachings turn into automatic habits that influence us throughout life unless we intervene to change these patterns in our minds. Taking conscious control of these patterns is crucial to shaping a prosperous financial future. Each of us carries a money model in the subconscious that more than anything else determines our financial destiny. This model functions as our mental programming, a collection of beliefs stored in the subconscious that affect our relationship with money. Recognizing and modifying this programming is the key to transforming our finances and building a solid foundation for success, where money flows abundantly. There's a fundamental formula that determines how we create our financial reality. 
We call it the manifestation process, which happens as follows. Thoughts generate feelings, feelings generate actions, and actions generate results. But where do thoughts come from? They arise from the information files stored in the subconscious. Transforming this information is the path to redefine our financial trajectory. Verbal programming in childhood exerts significant power over us. Phrases like, money is the root of all evil, or one cannot be rich and serve God at the same time, get ingrained in the subconscious and influence our attitudes towards money. Challenging and replacing these beliefs is crucial to making room for a mindset of prosperity. The examples we witness at home also shape our financial view. If our parents were spenders or frugal, it affects how we deal with money today. Becoming aware of these family patterns is the first step to breaking negative financial cycles. This is true, and it's important to pay more attention to what we do with our money. Certain experiences can leave traumas that turn into negative beliefs in the subconscious, affecting our financial success. Rewriting these experiences with a positive perspective is crucial to unlocking financial potential. To change this mental programming, awareness, understanding of the impact of childhood, unlinking from negative beliefs, and conditioning the mind with positive beliefs that lead to financial success are necessary. Starting this change process requires commitment, a lot of persistence, and consistent action to build a mindset of prosperity. To begin, I'll provide some important phrases. Please write them down so you don't forget. The first phrase is, what I've learned about money so far wasn't true. From today on, I choose to adopt new ways of thinking about money. The second phrase is, how my family deals with money is their problem, not mine. I decide how to act in this area. The third phrase is, I free myself from negative experiences with money and build a rich future for myself. Repeat these affirmations at least three times in the morning, right after waking up and three times at night before going to bed. If possible, rewind the video and write down these phrases on paper so you don't forget. Repeating these phrases will strengthen the new financial mindset you want to cultivate. Write down these phrases on paper, also engrave them in your heart, and discuss them with your partners, as all of this contributes to strengthening the new mindset we're building. Many people believe that success in business depends mainly on skills and knowledge, or at least on the ability to identify good business opportunities. However, this isn't entirely true. True success in business starts with personal growth and mindset transformation. Developing skills is crucial, but without a solid foundation of an entrepreneurial mindset, opportunities may be missed. Many of us think we make conscious choices in life, but in reality, we make few decisions that reflect our true awareness. Most of the time, we act automatically, guided by our past mental programming. Becoming aware of these automatic patterns is the first step to regaining control of our choices and directing our financial life. True financial freedom begins with the liberation from unconscious programming. Our mental programming is formed by beliefs and information transmitted by others, often passed down from generation to generation. By being aware of this, we can consciously replace concepts that don't contribute to prosperity with others that are more positive. Taking conscious control of our mental programming is a powerful act in the pursuit of financial success. We are not just passive recipients of other people's beliefs, we are active architects of our financial reality. Accepting to change those thoughts that don't propel us forward is fundamental. No thought exists without impact. No thought resides freely in our mind. They are constantly acting. They can lead us towards happiness and success or simply steer us away from wealth. Therefore, choosing our thoughts and beliefs wisely is crucial. Each thought is a seed planted in the garden of our financial reality. We must choose the seeds that will lead to prosperity and wealth. Cultivating a positive mindset is like watering seeds for healthy financial growth. 
Wealthy individuals believe they have control over their lives, while poor individuals see things happening and attribute them to chance or destiny. Which of these views do you believe in? Do you think you have control over your financial life or do you simply believe things happen? To become wealthy, it's crucial to believe that you control your life, especially your financial life. Taking responsibility is the first step towards developing a life of abundance and building a prosperous future. The belief that we are the protagonists of our financial story is the foundation for lasting success. Often people prefer to see themselves as victims, blaming others for their situation. Never do that. It's essential to take responsibility and avoid blaming others. Complaining is also harmful as it attracts more negativity and poverty, so avoid this trap. Don't complain, solve. Change begins when we decide to be the architects of our own fortune, focusing on positive thoughts and affirming, I create my own financial success. Authenticity and responsibility are the keys to unlocking the doors of prosperity. Wealthy people enter the financial game aiming to win, while poor people enter the financial game to not lose. Individuals with a poor mindset adopt a defensive posture in the financial game. If you participate in a competition with a purely defensive strategy, your chances of winning will be slim or non-existent. However, that's how most people approach the financial game. Their main concern is survival and security, not the pursuit of wealth and abundance. The goal of wealthy people is to achieve great fortune and abundance, not just some money, but a lot of money. The goal of people with a poor mindset is to have enough money to pay the bills. This cannot be your goal in any way. Money just to pay the bills. No, no, no. Let's remember the law of intention. If your intention is to have just enough to cover expenses, that's exactly what you'll get, not a penny more. The question comes down to this. If your goal is just to have some comfort, you're likely never to become rich. But if your goal is to become wealthy, you're likely to achieve a richly comfortable situation. If you aim for the stars, you might at least reach the moon. People with a poor mindset don't even aim for the ceiling of their own home and then wonder why they haven't hit anything. The law of intention states that we only achieve what we aim for. If you want to get rich, your goal has to be that and not just having enough to pay the bills or enjoy some comfort. Repeat the following statement a few times. My goal is to become a millionaire and much more. Clarity of purpose is the first step to creating an abundant financial reality. Wealthy people commit to being rich, while poor people wish to be rich. Ask people if they would like to be rich, and they'll say, of course. The truth, however, is that almost all of them don't desire wealth because they have many negative beliefs in their subconscious. They say there's something wrong with being rich, meaning such people have very contradictory ideas about wealth. For example, some people say, having more money would make my life much more fun, but also state, but I'll have to work myself to death, or I'll be able to travel around the world, but also comment, people will want to borrow money. These contradictions may seem innocent, but they're actually some of the main reasons why most people never get rich. Wealthy people have no doubt they want to make a fortune. They are unwavering in their desire and fully committed to wealth creation. They will do everything legal, moral and ethical to achieve their goal. People with a poor mindset point out a series of reasons why getting rich and being rich can be a problem. Consequently, they're never 100% sure they want to make a fortune. Everything in life is hard. Being rich is hard. Yes or no? Yes, but being poor is not easy at all. So choose which hard you want for your life. By the law of attraction, you always get what you want, what you desire in your subconscious, not what you say you want. If you're not getting the wealth you claim to want, there's a high probability that it's because first, in your subconscious, you don't really want it. Second, you're not willing to do what's necessary to get what you want. To achieve wealth, you need to go through three levels. The first one is, I wish to be rich. 
This is another way of saying that I'll take advantage of all opportunities, but wishing alone isn't enough. Wealth doesn't simply result from someone wishing for it. The second level of desire is I choose to be rich. This implies the decision to become rich. Choice has a very strong energy and goes hand in hand with the responsibility one has to create their own reality. The word decision comes from the Latin decidere, which means to eliminate all other alternatives. Wealthy people think broadly, while poor people think narrowly. The key word is value, and it's crucial to know the four factors that determine your value in the market, supply, demand, quality, and quantity. The factor that poses the greatest challenge for most people is quantity. Another way to express this is how many people you serve or reach in your presentations, for example. There are instructors who prefer to teach small groups of 20 people at a time. Others feel comfortable with 100 listeners in the room. Some like an audience of 500 participants, and others appreciate audiences of 2,000 to 5,000 people or more. There's certainly a huge difference in earnings between these instructors. Do you prefer to think broadly or narrowly? Most choose to think narrowly due to fear of failure and also of success, as they feel inferior and undeserving. They don't consider themselves important enough or capable of making a real difference in someone's life. But our life is not just about us. A good definition of an entrepreneur is a person who profits by solving others' problems. Do you prefer to solve problems for more people or fewer people? If you answered more, you need to start thinking broadly and decide to help a large number of people, thousands and even millions. The result of this is that the more people you help, the more prosperous you will be in the end. Thinking and acting small only leads to a life of sacrifices and dissatisfaction. Thinking broadly and acting broadly allows you to have money and a meaningful life. Repeat the following statement a few times. I think broadly, I choose to help thousands of people. Wealthy people focus on opportunities, while poor people focus on obstacles. Wealthy people see opportunities, while poor people identify obstacles. Wealthy people recognize the potential for growth, while poor people consider the potential for loss. Wealthy people focus on reward, while poor people concentrate on risk. We're not talking about positive or negative thinking, but the habitual perspective through which a person views the world. A large part of people with a poor mindset make decisions inspired by fear. Their minds are constantly looking for what's wrong or could go wrong in any situation. Their mental programming is, what if it doesn't work out or more often, this won't work out. Those with a middle-class mindset are a little more optimistic and say, I hope it works out. The rich are totally different. They take responsibility for the results of their lives and act according to the mental programming. It will work out because I will make it work out. They expect to be successful, have confidence in their ability and creativity, and believe that if some things fail, they will find another way to succeed. In general, the greater the reward, the greater the risk. Because they see opportunities all the time, wealthy people are willing to take risks. They believe they will get their money back if something goes wrong. On the contrary, the expectation of people with a poor mindset is to fail. They lack confidence in themselves and their abilities. They are sure that if they are not successful in their actions, it will be a disaster. And as they only see obstacles, they are generally not willing to take risks. But without risk, there is no reward. You need to understand this. No risks, no rewards. You search and search for success all the time, but you're never willing to take risks, and you don't know that the success you seek is hidden behind the risks you avoid. It's good to remember that being open to taking risks doesn't necessarily mean being willing to lose. Wealthy people take calculated risks. This means they research, perform necessary analyses, and make decisions based on facts and solid information. They don't spend their whole lives researching. They do what they can in the shortest time possible and make the calculated decision to start or not start this new venture. 
Although they say, I'm preparing for an opportunity, what people with a poor mindset usually do is stand still, terrified. They spend weeks, months, and even years thinking about what to do, and when they decide the opportunity has already disappeared. Wealthy people also understand that it's not possible to have all the information beforehand. Therefore, they prepare as best they can, in the shortest time possible, act and correct along the way. People with a poor mindset, not trusting themselves and their skills, believe they need to know everything beforehand, which is practically impossible. Meanwhile, they do nothing. Repeat the following statement a few times. I focus on opportunities and not obstacles. Wealthy people admire other wealthy and successful individuals, while poor people harbor resentment toward those who are wealthy and successful. People with a poor mindset often look at others' success with resentment, jealousy, and envy. If you want to be wealthy but consider the rich inherently bad, then you'll never be rich. You can't become something you despise. If you want to be rich, you need to love and admire the rich. It's astonishing to observe the resentment and even anger that many people with a poor mindset have towards the rich. It's as if they believe the rich are responsible for the difficult situation they're in. If they've been told throughout their lives that rich people are dishonest, unworthy and despicable, it's precisely because they accept this idea that they have no money. 98 out of every 100 rich men are honest, and that's why they're rich. That's why others trust them with money. That's why they undertake great projects and always find people to work with them. I know there are also dishonest people who earn millions dishonestly. But they are so rare that newspapers talk about them all the time until we get the impression that all rich people get their fortunes dishonestly. I myself know honest rich people and also dishonest rich people. I know honest poor people and dishonest poor people. So if a person is poor, it doesn't mean they will be honest. Or if a person is rich, they will be dishonest. No, no, no. Of all the attributes necessary to become rich, being trustworthy should be near the top of the list. Would you do business with someone you don't trust at least a little? Therefore, to become wealthy, it's necessary to be trustworthy. In many people's view, if so many people trust someone, it's because that person must really be trustworthy. This subject on my channel is far from over. I still have a lot of valuable content to pass on to you, but that's impossible to do in just one video. Would you like to learn how to make money online and live 100% off digital marketing? Check out the first pinned comment. In the first link, I left our training that will teach you to start from scratch and make your first 10,000 online. For me to know that you are a persistent person and watch the video until the end, please comment like this, I will be rich. Just comment that, I will be rich. When I see this comment, I'll give a heart because I know you'll be a millionaire soon and I'll know you stayed until the end of the video. Now, an amazing video that I made especially for you is appearing on your screen. This video is 100% focused on wealth building. I'm sure it will add a lot of value to you. So click on it and go watch it. Do it now.